Hi, today it's going to be my correct face makeup, my foundation routine in the, this moment. You probably can see that I don't have it foundation at all. My face is with so bad dark circles and freckles everywhere. Yeah. First I'm gonna do clinic different um, <laughs> dramatically different moisturizing lotion dry to very dry combination skin. I love this product. It's my favorite for every day, especially for daily application because it's soft, smooth and makes my skin the most beautiful and radiant and also kind of not clogs my pores and yeah. Sorry about my hair, I already washed it and I will gonna film how I straight my hair and you will see that video a couple of next weeks. I put my Gosh Velvet Primer. This is silicone base. I really like it. It's kind of smoothing and kind of keep my foundation even more longer. I don't have acne, but I really have big problems with dark circles, which I hate. But what can I do? Easy life. Okay, for every day I use one brush. This is buffer brush by um, Real Techniques, and this is the most favorite brush for apply makeup, especially foundation. I really like it because buffer very very good into the skin and makes the most airbrush looking on the skin. Um, this month I really really love one combination for foundations. I use MAC Face and Body Foundation which is very very liquid and very light foundation. I am in N3 it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but works very, very good. And I mix that with MAC Match Master Foundation with SPF 15, and this is in shade 1.5. And this combination works really, really good, especially for my type of skin, which I have dry skin. This Match Master is a little bit more drier, and but the face and body is very very liquidy kind of cr not creamy but very very moisturizing and works perfectly together I'm gonna put two pumps one and a half pump from MAC Matchmaster and one drop by face and body like this Probably you can see that have very different shades between. The Match Master is kind of orangey, but when I put it on my face, it looks exactly like my face. I'm gonna mix that very, very well to kind of combine between. The brush is clean. And go with the brush and kind of first dab it into my skin. Like that. But every people apply this on top of everything, like on top of the foundation, on top of the concealer, but I wanted to put this um, before apply concealer because it makes my concealer stay longer. I really don't know why, but makes my concealer stay even more longer to my skin and looks even more beautiful than Self, kind of apply a little bit. I don't want to put too much of this product because it's too expensive. And apply like this. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my mustache area and kind of press it with the finger to get like highlighting that point and go and apply with my fingers, gently press it, don't even work under the eyes because that is the most gentle area on your face. 
a new bottle of Healthy Mix Concealer and I really don't know what I'm gonna do if this discontinued this product because it's the most gorgeous concealer ever. Don't even crease under my eyes because I have fine lines and every concealer crease down this don't even move. Uh, brightening my eyes very beautifully and cover my dark circles very very good and I really like it. This is it's 51 and I will gonna apply that under my eyes like in triangle shape and also every time I get a red nose yeah because I have pretty big nose and every time it's kind of reddish and put a little bit on my nose a little bit around here and my chin just a few dots it's not too much at all it's kind of to set more glowing beautiful first I go on my nose and kind of work this out and just tap it don't even move because you will remove your foundation from the big nose yeah and go lightly with the fingers and work this like in triangle shape after five minutes I'm gonna set with light medium mirror eye skin finish in natural and I really don't want to put too much powder because my skin don't need it but uh, I'm gonna just a little bit dust it I'm gonna use Sigma large powder after the brush which is the most softer and beautiful brush you probably can even see that I have something on the brush just a little bit light light on the skin a little bit under my eyes and most of the time I don't work too much because I want to press the foundation to stay in the place don't kind of work it out and everywhere I want to kind of press it next I will gonna contour my face with mineralized skin finish natural in give me sun this is the most gorgeous I really don't know why I'm so kind of my old products are so kind of with other products dirty and everything but yeah this is give me sun which is the most perfect perfect contouring powder or bronzing powder for everybody who have like light skin awesome product i really like this especially for every uh, all over the face and oops I want to use with this brush. This is powder bl uh, blush brush by Real Techniques, but works very very good, especially for because it's kind of pointed. Works really really good for bronzer. I'm concentrate right here. I not suck my face like that, but I make the smile face, and I I will see where is that line where. It's needed to apply bronzer and I'm a bronzer person I really like too much bronzer I apply a little bit more every time then go what is left on the brush I go like in tree to contour my face I don't put too much on my forehead. Next to what I usually want to put on my face, this is kind of long video but because it's talking but if I do without camera this take me for about five to ten minutes depends. I want to use this is by 17 it's pink rose blush and it's beautiful baby kind of but very very bright blush and I really like this one and with my Sigma F40 brush I'm gonna smile and put on my cheekbones and on the first place I put a little bit more because in the next step it's going to disappear a little bit and I'm gonna want to put a little bit more Okay, and next finishing a tap of this face products face 
foundation. It's this mineralized skin finish in light scapade. It's my all the time favorite. Okay, you can see it right now. It's one of my all the favorite highlighter powders because it has very very beautiful glow. And I'm gonna use with small contour brush. I love this brush for this. And I go right up here and go and put uh, on my cheekbone and a little bit in this triangle. And because of that, I put a little bit more blush because when I put this in this triangle, it's going to be disappearing a little bit from the blush. Also, put on my nose, my cupid a little bit forehead and a little bit chin.